Hi guys, um, so today I want to show you the the filter, if you want to say that, for your nitrates. Because recently I checked my nitrates in my fish tank and my nitrates are skyrocketing, like it's 160, anywhere from 80 to 160 parts per million. So it's it's way too high. So uh, I'm gonna try to lower it. I did some water changes, but it's not really didn't really uh, lower it too much, and I don't want to change replace the whole water because it's already balanced and stuff. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a filter or aquaponics system for this plant right here. I don't. I just got a couple clippings. I don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna put the the name of the plant in the in the video. I just don't don't want to pronounce it wrong. Um, so how my filter gonna work is I got this planter, the window planter. Okay. So I got that. Uh, I'm gonna put. A gutter shield in there just for the plant to sit on top and the water gonna flow it's gonna be like right there the plant I'm gonna put on top of that and uh, just gonna cut a hole right here just to get like an overflow from there'll be a level of the water inside the planter and there'll be water will be flowing out and uh, for my return from from my uh, filter, I have a can canister filter, so I'm gonna hook this up. This little jig I have, I'm gonna put this to the end of the return, and hopefully it's gonna be enough pressure to go inside the planter too. So uh, let's do that. So first, I'm gonna start off with drilling the hole for the intake. Where the, where the water gonna go in and it's gonna be about right here what I'm gonna do I got I don't know three quarter inch drill bit and I'm gonna drill a hole right here okay so I got that hole Get the plastic out of there. I'm gonna clean that hole a little bit. Was I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna just clean the edges a little bit. This excess plastic out of here. Okay. It don't have to be perfect. The the water's not gonna leak out of there. So the water level is not going to be that high. And then I'm, I got this fitting for the half inch uh, clear plastic tubing. Just put screw this in. Okay, so I got got my pliers here. It's easier to use the pliers out here. Just to screw it in. Like you see, it's nice and tight. Not gonna cause anything. The water's not gonna leak out of there because it's not. The water level's not gonna be that high. Okay. So screw that in. Right here. So the water gonna go here, gonna flow on on through the whole planter and then I'm gonna make a a hole right here to for the water to flow out. So let me get this this uh, gutter guard. It has this little mesh. I'm not gonna use that, so I'm gonna just rip it off. And then I'm just gonna bend it right here, right, right there. Ok, 
okay okay bend it and cut it to the right length Yep. Okay, so this is this is in there. And it got low. That's gonna be the depth of the water. So I'm gonna cut cut a hole right here on top. On top of this gutter guard. I hope you see that. Okay, so cut the hole. Cut the hole right there for the water to flow out. And it's okay, it's gonna drip right here. Uh, the way it's gonna stand in the tank, it's it's that's fine. All the water gonna go in the tank. So just like that. And put my clippings in here. Got a light for them. I mean my, my aquarium light, but it's good for, I have this, you probably, if you don't know, if you didn't see it, you can look it in my video, um, it was one of the, I got that light at the Home Depot for $25, LED light, pretty bright, it's good enough for the uh, plants and everything, so, this in there, all this clipping get, getting in there. Okay, this is gonna go here. Like I said, that's gonna grow. That's gonna go pr grow pretty good. And uh, let me shut off my filter and hook it up. So now I'm gonna get my return out of the, the fish tank. Okay, and there's a little plug out here. So I'm gonna do, take that out. Okay, I'm gonna plug this out here. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so that's gonna go like this. So this goes back in the clips. is to hook it up 
right here. So I'm gonna need, I'll have to cut it right here. And I'm just cutting it right here. Okay, cut it right there. Put it, put it back in the clip. And hook it up to, to the planter. Okay, and I'm about to start up the, the filter and see what it does. See what it's gonna look like. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll see where the water gonna go if I have to do any modifications or not. Okay, so not enough pressure. There's not enough pressure right now to go in there. So I'm gonna cut another piece of the green hose and cover some holes from the my uh, fr some holes from my return to make a to build up pressure to go in the planter. Okay, so give me one second. Okay, let's see. Shut off the filter. Okay. Get this out again. Look at this piece. And cover up. Cover up two holes for right now. back and see what it, see what it's gonna do see if it's gonna be enough now turn on the filter and it, it is enough so I'll wait for the planter to fill up the camera up a little bit okay so it's going in just cover up some holes so it's flowing nice now in there I don't need a, a big flow it's gonna filter up the water now we'll wait for the water to come out and see if it's all gonna drip in the tank or not it's supposed to if not I'll just tilt the planter a little bit So it's going out there. Okay, so it's coming out there. Nice stream going on. All water goes inside the tank, there's nothing dripping behind or anything so that was nice and easy and uh, I'll give you the update in uh, about a month or something and tell you if it really worked or not because I've seen a lot of videos on on YouTube the people using that plant and we'll see if it's gonna work or not so uh, I hope it was interesting and uh, beneficial for you if, if you like it hit the like button subscribe and uh, I'll put more videos about the fish tanks and I'm about to start a, the, the salt water aquarium so I'll put the video about that one and uh, have a good one